Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well. So today I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node. Come on in, take what resonates, leave the rest. If there's anything that you need to know in regards to how to get a reading, please refer to the description box down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for your love and support. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are interested in element signs such as earth and water, and other signs then be sure to head over to the other channel i will leave the link in the description box down below all right so let's see what's here what do we need to know holy spirit give us clear and concise messages for virgo what's here for virgo what does virgo need to know so we do have peace peace and harmony so you could be in this element or coming or trying to tap into this. I feel like spirit is telling you that you need to be patient here. Okay. Because whatever you have gone through, this is something that you have to meet in stages to get tranquil with when it comes to your level of emotions. But I do see that the end all be all will be you gaining personal power, strength from a, a person that was sending you evil eye energy here. Okay. Uh, this morning I did talk about negative energies and someone doing spell work and all of this. I feel like if the message is for you, it'll be for you. You won't have to question it. Sometimes we don't know that there are people that are doing this and this could be people even in our family group, our friend dynamic or somebody that just blatantly sees us doing well and doesn't want the best for us. All right. I had someone comment like, um, this is so negative. Why would someone do this? Like, I can't help what comes out, especially if it's coming out in different decks. Maybe if it's coming out in different decks, then there's something wrong. Okay. These cards aren't handpicked. These just drop and I read the energy. Okay. I know it may be upsetting to hear some things, but I don't tell you things that you need to hear. I tell you things that you should be aware of or that you need to know all right the number 12 could be significant we have an ending that's showing up or a beginning of some sort here so peace and harmony could be coming in someone's initials could be kb i'm also getting somebody that is um very um I'm hearing that someone has two different sides. I know everybody has a light side and a dark side, but it shows like whenever someone's feeling a certain way, it's like you can't hide it. Okay. Someone might like the colors yellow, orange, or red. Someone here could be um, into street art or whatever this is. I'm hearing arch architect or architecture. What's here? I heard web design too. We have flexibility. So this could be flexible in time, um, flexible in your uh, physique or whatever this may be. Someone here could be taking on a group of people that they can lead to a better, healthier lifestyle. Yeah, it's all about trust and action. Hmm. I'm only going to receive the cards as they fall. So I'm not going to pick more than I have to. Let's see what's here. Okay. So we have success. Something is going to go well for a masculine or the, there could be a feminine that's in this masculine energy. I've been getting wedding a lot, so I'm not really sure as to who's getting married, but someone here could be afraid to propose or uh, going through with this stage of marriage. Okay. I'm hearing something about a letter. Yeah. Someone here could be writing about what they're feeling or what they're trying to overcome. Okay. Someone here could be 40 years old. Or someone here could be getting married in the next few months. Okay. What's here for Virgo? What is it that we need to know? 
So we have change and mature woman. So there is a feminine, a younger feminine energy here that might not want things to change. Something here about a home or something stable, um, a male taking care of them or whatever this is, whether it's a family member, friend, or a lover, someone here does not want that to change. Someone wants to still be taken care of financially. Okay. I'm hearing that something is opening up to where someone here will have a change in the rules when it comes to her lifestyle and how she lives. I do see here toil and labor in reverse and great fortune. So someone here doesn't want to be able to work. They want to be taken care of. They want to earn this privileged energy through this wealthy man. Okay. The numbers nine and number six could be significant. Someone here is afraid to grow up. Okay. There is a wealthy man that could have his own life to take care of. I, it doesn't matter if it's like your father, your uncle, your trick, whatever this is. Someone here is not going to end up getting some sort of money here from a, a masculine energy. Okay. Someone's going to be in prison for taking some money from this masculine. Okay. I heard life insurance policy or whatever this may be. Someone here could be faking like they are this person. They are this person's, uh, wife or husband to get these things. Hmm. Tell me more. What's here for Virgo? What is it that Virgo needs to know for Virgo, for Virgo, for Virgo? Can I get one more for Virgo? Thank you, Holy Spirit. So we do have the barrel at the bottom of the deck and younger woman. So there's a younger woman that you might know, or you could be the younger woman that is lacking something in your life whether that's love, money, or goals. This could be in this situation goals for somebody, okay, or money. There's gonna be some sort of person that's going to be dropping some wise things for you to find out how to change your situation from something temporary to overcoming this with key information, key ingredients. I feel like your spiritual guides are protecting some sort of love offer or romantic affair, okay? But the cards that fell out was the grasshopper. Situations in the balance that require careful handling could be a challenge. There's some sort of challenge. Be careful not to take risks and time to go out and have fun. So I'm going to tap into this deck this is like one of my favorite decks, but I didn't want to overuse it. Um, what's this claw energy? Be careful. Do not take risks. This is power. Okay. So I'm getting whatever this four pentacles energy is in regards to money. Don't overuse it just because you manifest it doesn't mean that it won't be taken away from you. Exactly. I'm hearing that because you believed in yourself, you didn't fail. You, you got this success here. I think that there was some sort of, um, sacrifice that you had to make. It was between staying in a relationship that wasn't for you versus tapping into your career and building a foundation for yourself. Yeah, someone here only fake wanted to make you happy, okay? Someone here wanted to fake make you happy. They were doing spell work to keep you defeated, but you remain undefeated in this situation here. I'm hearing that something is coming in very slowly or something is methodical 
about how it comes into your life. I feel like you had to fight to keep certain things together. You might have confided in a older woman about an issue that you were having or a therapist, somebody that you trust about a lover and how to move forward from that here. Okay, so I'm hearing that just because you get a little power doesn't mean you get to abuse it. Take that how it resonates, okay? Like I said, I know it stings sometimes, but we need this wake-up call. We need to stop living in la-la land. All right. Who is this person that you're connecting to? If you are connecting to someone, what, do you, what does this person want you to know? What's here for Virgo? Wow, a lot of messages here. Okay, so the overall energy is you are amazing. That's the overall energy. I don't want to be the reason that you cry. I know I was a fool, but I'm truly sorry. I never meant to hurt you. I wish things were different. And I have trouble to express myself. So what is this that your person would like to express to you? Okay, we have two of pentacles. That there's something that they're going through. There's some sort of difficulty, which is why there is some sort of tower moment that's coming in. I feel like this person is dealing with a lot of spiritual warfare or um, spell work that's going on with them. Something's keeping them from coming towards you. Whatever this energetic field uh, is I feel like this person wants a rebirth. However, it's been really hard because something has been taking over them. Yeah, someone feels like they're going over to the dark side when all they want is to uh, build a foundation with you or start off as friends here. Tell me more. Okay, we have the fool. Okay, so um, I heard make it quick. Uh, this person here. Look, they miss pleasuring you, pleasing you, being close to you. They feel like it's a victory for them. I feel like when they're around you, they can take their time with you here. Someone here could be seeing 666 or the number 66. Hmm. Tell me more. What's going on? What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Virgo? Okay, give us clear and concise messages for Virgo. All right, so I feel like whatever spell work was being done to you, particularly speaking, it's being it, it, like there's no goal to this, okay? This person could have been someone that was your enemy or that you had issues with. I'm hearing this could be someone that stolen something from you or attempted Okay. We have readiness, calm, bully in reverse, evidence in the upright and the mask. So I'm hearing that you're ready to get into this peaceful energy, whatever this is. Remember that was our first card. Your overall element is peace, love, and blessings, prosperity, abundance love, good health, you know, making sure that you make an impact in the best way. I feel like you're not allowing anybody to come into your life to try to embarrass you, uh, come in to get you, get your energy to gossip about you. I'm hearing that you're like, that's not the type of time that you're on. I'm hearing that you detect, or you've known for quite some time that somebody was pretending or they could have deceived you or tried to here, okay? But now you have proof and there will be justice against this person that tried to trap you, okay? Into some sort of a uh, third party situation or wanted you a part of it. What else is here for Virgo? Okay, so the only card that seemed to pop out was the Ace of Cups. Okay, this could be a friend, lover, 
whomever or people that you work with, whatever the case may be. But someone here is going through a, a transformation. This could be um, your energy, your your person's energy or whoever this uh, person is external to you. But I feel like this person's starting to realize that, you know, the way that they're feeling isn't just coincidence. It's like they keep coming back around to your energy. They can't escape it or you can't escape theirs or this could be somebody new. OK, I feel like this person could have water in their chart or be a water sign. However, it goes, there will be some sort of divine intervention for a person to make a decision like, look, if it's going to be Virgo or Taurus, Capricorn, then let it be. But if it's not, then this person needs to detach from you. This person needs to start making great offers, because right now all that the, this person is offering is dirty offers here. OK. Hmm. Let's see what else is going on for Virgo. All right. So there's something within you that's not allowing you to forgive somebody. It's like something still is fresh. It's like every time you think about it, it's like it happened yesterday. Or this could be vice versa for your person. I'm getting the energy that you could be stepping into this twin flame energy with somebody but it's like this person could have showed you that they were a twin flame but then it's like they weren't really a twin flame they were a false twin flame someone here is tempted by you or you're tempted by them someone doesn't feel like they can get you out of their system i'm seeing that song by bow wow with T-Pain out of my system. Hmm. Someone here is very guarded or feeling like they that's what they have to do to protect themselves here. What's here for Virgo? What do we need to know? Yeah. So someone here is so codependent on you that these two cards fell out together. Someone here could be getting fired. Someone here could be getting fired due to being vulnerable energetically or spiritually. Someone might have lied on you to get you fired here. OK, since this is talking about uh, jobs, I'm going to do a money and career shuffle. I do have some new cards. Yeah, I feel like there is a missing piece of the puzzle that you're not getting here. Someone may be allowing you or binding their energy to you so that they can astral travel and connect with you telepathically. I feel like you are missing a major piece of the puzzle and it's that this person feels bound to you. So this could be a soul tie connection here. The shook card came out in reverse. So the, the information or the situation may leave you shook. Something is going to leave you shook. There's some sort of information where skeletons are going to come crawling out of the closet, baby. Let's see why. What is this shook energy for Virgo? What is the information? I'm, I'm getting something about an interference, money interference or effort. Okay, the Empress, they don't want you to know about a, a ex-baby mama or whoever they were dealing with, the lover's card and the Hierophant. This person here doesn't feel like their spiritual values align and they were scared to tell you that they could have like went over to the dark side or got codependent on somebody that served them because they were low vibrational as well. Okay, with the seven of uh, seven of swords here, I feel like there were a, was a lot of lies, backstabbing energy, betrayal, all things like that, just to get money or just to get on top of something here. Okay, but someone was never really attached to this person like that. Tell me more. Okay, so we do have the page of pentacles. Someone here definitely learned a, a lesson. OK, someone here could be a school teacher or has the ability to teach others, younger people. I'm getting here that someone 
someone here got napped by this person okay this person got stuck dealing with this individual or met this person in jail or when they got out of jail okay i feel like someone wants to clarify or get clarity through through reason talking to somebody or whatever the case may be whether this is you or somebody else that they know outside of you someone here wants to you know have a conversation here someone wants to get uh, more clarity i'm hearing that someone's ready to make a decision but they're afraid that this person that they're dealing with is a jealous motherfucker right here and this person doesn't want this individual to ruin what they may have because it could bring on more bad karma so someone here is racking up karma like a motherfucker because they still dealing with the person that they're with because they thought this person was picture perfect little did they know this person was just all out for gains all out for climbing on top or getting on top of something okay someone here could have been financially supporting this individual someone is codependent on a person because of financial stability or a place to live okay let's get into the money and career what's here for virgo when it comes to money and career what's the current energy okay so we have selling someone here is going to be working as a barista or um in a coffee shop serving alcohol whatever this is someone here is going to be working overtime or working time and a half to develop some sort of um work experience okay So someone here could be selling goods, distributing goods. Um, I heard working as a driver or whatever the case may be, or over the counter, whatever this is, you're going to be getting unexpected income because of your level of performance. Okay. Let's see what else is coming out in love for Virgo. What do we need to know? So there is material attachment here, whether this is for you or for somebody else. I feel like there is too much focus on visible trappings, which is this material attachment with soulmate at the bottom of the deck. Someone here is needs to free themselves in order to be with their soulmate again. Because I feel like there is a, a general understanding as to how this person feels about you, but maybe not to the person that they're dealing with. Okay. Tell me more for Virgo. What's here? Okay, so we do have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And then we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, this is how you're going to call in your soulmate. Love yourself first, though. All right. Tell me more. Tell me more for virgo what's here okay so i'm gonna take that we have trauma someone here is easily triggered by others due to their past issues someone is afraid to love and especially when it comes to you someone here could be vengeful and will seek revenge to tear others down or this is their state of mind someone here feels like you're being stingy or there they could be someone expects others to fit the bill but they are broke you can't tell somebody to do something and then you can't even live up to what you're telling everybody else to do. That's just a, a, a contradiction here. Okay. Somebody here is a walking contradiction. Someone here could be cutting ties with you and moving towards another victim because they know they can't, they can't do the same shit that they do with other people because people treat them. People are treated like groupies when it comes to this person, trophies. Okay. Numbers. And you're not one of them. And you will never be one of them. Because you're a divine masculine and or feminine here. Let's see. What else is coming out for love? 
for my single ladies and fellas what's here okay so we have an honest conversation that could be coming up someone might want to talk to you whether it's a friend a lover a co-worker or whatever someone here is not for you okay you've already fallen in love with the person that you want to be with but they feel like you have a hidden agenda or they might okay someone has a hidden agenda to track someone with a, with a child here someone wants to start a, a family okay someone could have like an obsession with starting a family with you because then they'll they know that you will be bound to this individual for the next 18 years if a child comes into play all right i'm gonna take one more so we have they adore you whoever this person is that wants to have a conversation with you or the next person you meet they're going to adore you they're gonna love your energy you're just so cute to them and they think of you guys as a power couple okay somebody could have options so keep that in mind someone here could be dating other people or you guys might not be exclusive where you guys are giving each other time and space before you know taking that that next step in dating here okay what's here for virgo what is it that virgo needs to know all right so we have saboteur and then we have advocate so there's something about the color green someone needs to actually someone here is embracing negative causes or committing to causes for personal gain someone's trying to sabotage what you got going on or they're trying to come into your life as someone positive but they're really trying to get some something for personal gain so you have a saboteur in your energy okay or fear could be sabotaging what you really want and these negative traits could cause you to create a a nasty blend for disaster whatever this is here i heard the terminator arnold schwarzenegger could be significant someone's name could be arnold someone here could live in the state of california Hmm. All right, I'm going to pull some of these cards from my deck to see what else is going on before I get into the read. Someone could have an ur urgent message for you. Someone here could be non-Muslim. So there's something top secret or something that should be kept confidential. Okay. So we have poker face, mean mug. Somebody here could be mean mugging you, trying to look mean. This could be a bouncer or a bodyguard here. I haven't seen that card in a long time, but you're unbothered. So you could be out at a club or a, a function, and it's like this bouncer could be mean mugging you. What is this about? What is this poker face or mean mug about with this bouncer? Okay, who is this? Okay, so we have seven of pentacles this this person is always like this it's nothing personal i feel like this person is usually happy but it's like he can't he or she can't help the way that they like that's someone's resting bitch face okay they're just there to make their money but it's definitely nothing personal all right let's see what else we got going on Okay, so we have gifted student or learner, if the shoe fits. And we have putting someone in their place. Someone's gonna be put in their place because you, you claim to be the gifted student, okay? You can read people's energy. All right, look, top secret is coming up. Okay, something could be a red flag here. Whoever this person is that has some sort of secret or this could be you or you're trying to figure that out, 
someone here wants this information to be wiped out or there will be some sort of blackout or some sorry something going wrong i'm already taken okay so this could be a part of the secret someone here might have done something knowing that they're taken and they might have done something in in their their profession that they weren't supposed to there could be some sort of medical malpractice or whatever okay tell me more about this medical malpractice tell me more about this medical malpractice okay so we have the two of wands hmm some somebody here could have hmm I heard something about organs. I heard something about like surgery. I heard something about like the, the black, the dark web. Somebody could be doing something. Hmm. I heard invading privacy. Someone could be taking pictures, having cameras, whatever the case may be. Someone here could have even videotaped a, an operation or a procedure. Somebody here could have been knocked out. Hmm. There's going to be judgment. I see judgment. Libra energy. Yep. Let's see here. What else is going on? What do we need to know? What's here for Virgo? Beware of the people that you are enlisting to go to when it comes to these like doctors and stuff like that. What's here for Virgo? What do we need to know? Holy Spirit, someone here is not the one. This came out twice in two different decks. Family members believe that they paved the way for your success and now they want to leech or mooch off of your money that you're making. Okay. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And we have lifestyle, living in luxury. Okay, there's a tower about someone coming clean, whether this is you or somebody else. Someone here has known about some sort of paranormal activity that's been going on and kept this a secret. Okay. Someone here could be Hispanic. Someone has hair. Or someone could be into doing hair. Someone here could work in a nursing home or could be in a nursing home. Take that as it resonates. I haven't pulled these cards in a minute. What's here for Virgo? Someone here definitely wants to get out of the friend zone. So whoever this tower card is coming for, it's somebody that you are familiar with or that you know on some level. So sh shark tank goons are coming to your hood. Someone could owe somebody or something here might have been provoked. I got violent outburst and money maker. So you could have money that you were supposed to pay somebody or vice versa. And someone's coming to collect or you're going to them. The mood that you're in is feeling really insecure with who you are or somebody feels like this is your energy, but God got you. Someone's getting married for all the right reasons or wants to. And someone here could be communicating with the dead. Someone here knows about some sort of paranormal activity or has been doing this to you behind the scenes or vice versa. Okay. There was a voicemail of a doctor calling about results and divine masculine or feminine wants answers. Someone here has been doing things to patients that are like so unreal. Okay. Can't keep up with their lies. Someone here is trolling you, going on tour. Someone's going on tour. Someone could be asked to go backstage or have backstage access. I'm seeing godly uh, information or godly formation, esoteric knowledge. Someone could be a high priest or priestess. Someone could be spiritually gifted or in this high vibrational earthly en energy. So there could be some information that spirit is calling for you to, to come into. 
to get this download. Someone here could be real close or have a real connection with friends. There's new info that's surfacing um, that somebody wants, but it, they feel like you're, you're hard to approach or too high strung to get this information. I feel like it's this esoteric knowledge energy. Okay, let's see what this is. What is this esoteric knowledge? What do we need to know? What is this in regards to this new info surfacing? Three of three of wands. Hmm. Okay, so spirit is trying to tell you that somebody tried to get some sort of information from you or tried to learn something off of you and ended up hurting themselves. Okay. There's a delay in something or something was pushed back because somebody was supposed to do something to you and get information from it so that they can capitalize off of whatever this is. But this person just wasn't prepared to face the wrath of your guides by whatever this was. So not only has somebody tried to violate you or your energy whoever this doctor was, whatever type of doctor this person is, but somebody else was trying to do this as well. We also have foster care collecting a paper trail to make sure that a mother or father loses access to children. So be mindful of y'all baby daddies or baby mamas because they're building a case to have your child taken away from you. Or this could be somebody outside of your baby daddy or baby mama, but it it's significant to... Um, a mother or father that wants a the other parent to lose access. Yeah, something is not going to be completed because somebody lied. Somebody is not telling the truth about whatever this is. They're not going to succeed here. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Okay, I'm going to go into the reading. And then we're going to close out. Whatever comes out, comes out. I'm not going to force the messages. What's here for Virgo? What do we need to know? For Virgo. Okay. All right. So overall energy is the seven of pentacles. So this is like a guarded energy. Someone is guarded because they feel like whatever this is, that they were trying to do to come forward with it's like they're being pushed back yep whoever this person is you could have been in a long-term relationship with them or known them long term or there was some sort of marriage between the two of you or family dynamic okay this person feels like you're unreachable or you're not trying to reach out to them or there could have been an argument over the phone the last time y'all spoke I do see the four of wands with the queen of pentacles. So you might've walked away from somebody who was more invested in their work, or you could have walked away from someone who wasn't giving you what you needed or whatever to focus on your career. Okay. Your bag. I am getting that there is a masculine energy and Aries in particular that might be upset or irate for whatever reason. Why is this? Why is this Knight of Wands here? Someone here could be very agitated because of the Seven of Pentacles. Like they want something to pick up. Something is not picking up speed. I feel like this person is trying to revisit all sorts of options that they have going on, but they're very agitated here. Yep. They're trying to figure out why there's no communication. Why has that been cut off? They feel like you might have lied about something or something being exposed. Seven of Swords, they're trying to figure it out. They could be talking to people. I feel like uh, they feel you're not trying to invest in them or you don't want to work with them. You're just focused on your happiness and what makes you happy here. And <laughs> you should be. You should be focused on yourself because they weren't. they weren't ready. They weren't with all that when they had you. And now all of a sudden, they, they miss your ass. They want to come back or they want to talk to you with the six of pentacles. They feel like, well, damn, what's up with home girl or home guy? Like, why aren't I hearing for this from this person? 
Like I'm trying to move forward. What's up? But they keep getting this like guarded energy. Yep. This person definitely wants to fight. Like they, they want to fight. They want to fight here. That's the only way that they're going to get you to kind of answer them. But how do they know that's even going to be possible? What if you've trained yourself to turn that energy off? They don't even know this, but they think that that's going to be a tactic for them. Anyway, Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in your own personal love reading, be sure to email me. And as always, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.